So this is my spawn chunk. Yay. Um, and I'm going to go run and hit the bed real quick. So you have to, in order for you to be a good person, you really have to learn how to love yourself. Which sounds really, really simple, but it is a lot harder than it sounds. Um, ping, boink, boink, boink. So from the proximity of where that trunk is, I know that this farm, oops, is going to be inside my spawn chunk area that is going to be always loaded. So even if I'm thousands of blocks away, I'm pretty sure this stuff is going to continue growing. That uh, contraptions that I have with redstones, like I'm going to make a chicken cooker, is always going to be loaded. And um, it's just a good way of getting materials on a constant basis even if you're not in the area because as you know uh, minecraft if you're not in the area it stops working except for at the spawn chunk where your spawn is so if you know the spawn chunks that you are you can have all these things work uh constantly do i have anything i can just make these into i'm gonna use some wood to mark off the rest of this hopefully i have enough oak wood there so we're going to go back and figure out which spot is the actual place where i make the spawn chunks from isn't it nice to be up up out of the ground so one of the things you know i i tend to be depressed in general um, that is my tendency, and so I've had to work a lot at certain things in life, and um, that's why I was so adamant about, oh, is this my little hidey hole? My hidey hole that I started with. Um, so I've done a lot of work trying to keep myself not depressed. Okay, I'm going to say this these four blocks that i initially pointed out whenever i die and there's no bed around i will spawn i think within 20 blocks of these four blocks so if i get rid of the bed and kill myself i will spawn within 20 blocks of just these four blocks but <clears throat> seeing that a chunk spawn area is 12 chunks by 12 chunks that means that there's not one single chunk that's in the center of the uh, chunk loaded area so it's kind of like this situation these would be chunks and the chunk center is actually in the middle so what we need to do is find the center of my spawn and spawn chunks and that is going to be one of these four corners on this chunk that i have um built here so one of these four corners will be my chunk uh, center for my spawn chunks. And how we figure that out, again, we bring up the F3. We go to from, see how it's 0, 6, 0. We go to 8. Where is 8? Okay. So here's 8. Let us take this wood. And I'm going to go in from here. There's one, two, until I am at location inside this chunk, A8. So um, I'm actually, the best way to do this is from zero, zero, which is always kind of like the northwest side, I think, right? North. West? Yeah, so the northwest side is where you actually want to start. Just go to 8, and 
<clears throat> eight and just build the uh, this little design. You don't even have to build this little contraption, but it really does help. So this is the center of this trunk, and I'm going to mark it like they do in the tutorials. I forget which tutorial I watched, but um, it was a good one. I'll tell you that. <laughs> And they do deserve credit. It's one of the first ones I come up with. Exuma does one, you know, the Hermitcat guy. Um, but I didn't really, really care for his because his involved, you know, throwing <clears throat> random, not random, but throwing blocks away that you, oops, don't really need and waiting for them to spawn and that chunk where it despawned and spawned is the edge of your loaded chunks area. But I think this way is a little bit better. Um, I don't know why I think it's a little bit better. But basically, I'm not going to fill out this whole thing because this isn't really a tutorial. This is a let's play. Um, so basically, uh, if I were to do the whole thing, I would, f you know, fill in all these areas. So from up above, you have, well, screw it. I'll just do it for shits and giggles. So let me, do I have a uh, pillar of dirt? No, I don't. How can I get high? Stupid question. Okay, here we go. We'll do this from a different perspective. Okay. So, there's my spawn location right there. And this is a chunk that has that southeast corner of the spawn location. That corner could be in the middle here, or over there, or over there, or over there. But once you fill this out, you go from the northwest corner and eight and eight to find the center because the northwest corner is always that dimension and same with these other ones. And whichever quadrant, that white block, which is the southeast corner of the initial four is, is the corner that you're looking for. The corner. <gasps> oh, I got a mesa over there. Not a mesa. Acacia wood, at least. Um, a desert. Okay, I haven't been high and been able to see this. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, oh, so what does that mean? What does the fact that this uh, thing is in this quadrant? That basically means that on this corner right here where these four blocks are is actually the center of my spawn chunk area so if I you see um, right now I am in minus one 4, 14. Chunk minus 1, 4, 14 right here. So if I were to go 6, 6 chunks that way, that would be the edge of my spawning chunks. And if I were to go 6 chunks that way, that would be the edge of my spawning chunks. And if I were to go 6 chunks that way, I would be on the edge of my spawning chunks. And if I went 6 chunks that way, that would be the edge of my spawning chunks. And then we'd have this big square of where my spawn is. And that, my friends, is how you figure that crap out. So I'm going to tear this down and continue with my little story about being a good person. Okay, another thing, um, like I say, you have to know how to love yourself before you can love somebody else. And I don't mean, you know, getting the lube and enjoying yourself in the bedroom. No, not that type of self-love. Whoops. I am talking about actually loving yourself. Yeah. 
I'm sounding all like I don't know what I'm sounding like. Uh, I don't even have anything to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'll cheer some of this down then. Um, <clears throat> another thing is believe everybody is created equal. Okay, everybody. So if you look at a different race of people <clears throat> and you think you are better than them, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. Okay? Um, a lot of people have problem with that. Um, it's hard to do. I grew up with extremely racist parents. I grew up in a town where I was actually eight years old before I saw my first black person. And my dad is filled with racial jokes. And it's, it's hurtful. I can actually see the pain in people. And it doesn't have to be somebody of color. It can be anybody. It can Today it happens to be St. Patrick's Day. And somebody I was working with today is extremely Irish. Very happy with his um, heritage. But people were kind of making fun of him. Calling him a leprechaun and all sorts of stuff. And it was bugging him. Um, and he just don't do that. Why do you enjoy other people's pain? If you enjoy making fun of people and the power it gets you, you're in trouble. You got to figure out how else to get that power because that's what people do. People put other people down because they are insecure about themselves and they want to feel the power that it is to tr put somebody down and that's just a stupid way to live your life if you need to put somebody down because you f are powerless or feel powerless and you want to have control over somebody um your life is pathetic i'm sorry There's, you got to start doing things a different way um and a lot of people do that, especially nowadays. I hate to say it, but uh, I grew up in the 70s. I remember race riots in Boston when I was a kid. But I think the world is more racist now than it was when I was a kid. Because when I was a kid, they started to allow um, black people to ride the same school buses and go to the same schools as the white kids. And that caused problems. Which is too bad because most Americans that I know are believe in God or Christianity. And basically what I'm telling you is all in the Bible. I mean, if you call yourself Christ Christian... And you think other people are not as good as you or are created less than you, then you are not doing Christian right. And I unfortunately have seen a lot of people not doing it right. And that's kind of sad that I have to say that, seeing it's been probably 20 years since I've been in a church. I can't say in a church. Hi. Uh, there we go. I don't like hearing all these skeletons. I don't know if I like hearing these footsteps. I'd rather not know they're there. Which reminds me where I, where I uh, spent like most of my life. I thought it would be fun one day to, um, why can't I sprint? Uh, to get a scanner, police scanner, and, you know, oh, let's listen to what's going on in my town. And after about 20 minutes of hearing everything that's going on around me, um, I had to turn it off because I don't like hearing about all the stuff. 
going on? Oh, oh, oh. A robbery three three streets over, a assault and battery over here, a liquor store robbed over there. I think I was better not knowing that. So yeah, ignorance is bliss sometimes. Ah, not gonna make it. I'm gonna put a few torches. Oops. Yeah, I got some more. I'm gonna put a few torches up here just so um, I know where it is. That center thing right here is the center of my spawning area. So six chunks in all directions is where I need to be. And let's just take a look. Uh, which way do I go to go to my... The reason why I'm doing this, I don't want to really build all these farms off of this chunk area. Unfortunately, a lot of it's out in the ocean. I can make a spawner out there, though. Um, and so, where am I going? Why am I in a hole? I keep forgetting which direction I want to go. It's over there. Okay. So, I'm in chunk one. Chunk two. Chunk three. You see it going at 12 right now, then it will be 11, 4, 5, oh, 6. So actually it stops right here. Is that right? Oh man, I thought it was farther than that. Shoot. That means those farms I just made is not in where I want it to be. Excuse my smatter. Oh, yeah, that's not good. So, where are we? 14. So, it would be the end of 8 that I need to get to. Oh, so one more. But still, that's not going to be enough. Eight. All right. Oh. Oh. I have cows. Excellent. So, I'm going to put that there. So, what I am going to do is see if. I think I'm going to replant all that inside my spawn chunks. Well, maybe not right now. I do have wheat on me. I'm just seeing if I have any um, posts because I want to contain those cows because I'm having a serious food issue right now. Do I have any? I do. I got 30. Let's make a door. Where's my thing? I'm going to make two doors, actually. One, two, one, two, one, two, get. <clears throat> so yeah, the other thing, um, you need to do, hold on. <laughs> Cat's playing with my door again, my curtain of the door. So, yeah. I am going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Yeah, let's do eight by eight. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that going to be big enough? Yeah, why not? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, because any bigger I would have lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there is really no middle ground here. I probably should have made it nines, but I don't care. I can be off a little bit. I won't freak out. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> yes. Um, so we got... 
things that you want to do. Love thy neighbor. Do unto others as you want done to yourself. And that at the same time doesn't mean give up dignity and stuff for you. If somebody is doing something you don't like, I say, I heard the cows over here, so where are you? I need two of you. Are you like... Just over here. I see you. Oh, we got a few Bessies. Excellent. Come here. Come here. Come here. I gotta wait. He uh, he looked at me. Come on. You staring at me? Come on. Thank you. You too. Hi, bunny. I don't have any carrots yet. Oh, do I have all four of you? Yes, I do. Oh, tight corner. Yes. One of the things uh, that's really kind of annoying with with um, <clears throat> Minecraft, it is really difficult to move animals around and I'm actually doing a pretty good job here come on push the other one out of the way come on you can do it Yo. Oh. there you go come on come on both of you you got it yes now we can Make our beat. And, have you seen that? Mm -hmm. Repopulation. I'm a sex fiend. 